So what are y'all? Martin Bustos from the Lavender Project. Hey guys, Tony Saga of the Lavender Project. Well, check it out, Shaw. In conclusion to our last Disney episode, we finna do this Disney episode. Was good. Hundred and three was good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as Martin said, basically we're going to be doing, after our Disney subliminal messages video, we're going to do another thing by Disney. We're going to be talking about a creepypasta, which Martin knows the name of. Do you remember what the name of the creepypasta was? Haunted Mansion. Yeah, so it was the Haunted Mansion, and then after that, we're going to talk a special treat for you guys. Um, who's ever heard of the rumor that Walt Disney is apparently cryogenically frozen, and at that under the Disneyland? Um, the one in Anaheim, California, because that was the first one that opened. That's the only one I've been to. But anyways, yeah, so apparently he's supposed to be frozen, so we're going to talk a little bit about that later. It's probably fake, just warning you. Now, everybody thinks that the rumor is not true. It probably isn't true, but we're still going to talk about it. So, sucks for you guys. Watch it. Um, also, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, we're going to talk about this creepypasta right now, and uh, if you guys notice anything weird in this room, tell us, because it's really dark, and anytime something dark happens in this room when the flashlight is on, we catch some weird shit, and uh, yeah, mostly orbs, but we can't always debate if they're bu dust or orbs, um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, Martin, you want to go ahead with the creepy pausta? You want me to say the whole thing? Um, oh, you want me to go first, huh? I don't care, I mean, you want me to say the whole thing, or you could say something, I don't care. Uh, alright, well then I'll start off with this, so, um, so anyways guys, basically, the creepypasta Haunted Mansion starts off with this guy. Um, did I ever tell the guy's name in the creepypasta? No. Okay, so, no, there's no guy name. But anyway, so it's this guy that always wanted to go to Disneyland. And when he finally went, his favorite ride out of all of Disneyland was a Haunted Mansion ride. Uh, I think it came out in the late 60s. And it's basically a ride where you go inside the house and it's it kind of like takes you around the house. And it's kind of a roller coaster at the end. Rocky. It's really funny. And, um... <laughs> It's really fun. I've been on it a couple times. But anyways, this creepypasta basically explores what happens when this one guy went on it. So, after he went on this ride, he found out that it was one of his favorite rides. It was hella fun. So he decided to look some stuff up on it. And he started studying the ride. And he was like, he wanted to know things about how the ride worked and stuff. Um, and a yes. So, Martin, at this point, do you want to tell them about what happened next? Why not? Well, uh... <clears throat> All right, so he goes back, right? And, uh, you know, in 2000 or whatever, he goes back and he's like, damn, I love this ride. So him and his buddies go back to Disneyland. And, uh, well, he gets a line and he gets to this pet cemetery part. And he notices one of the tombstones on the ground because I guess he was hella bored and shit, so he wanted to read the tombstones. So he's reading the tombstones and one stands out. It's a little bit odd. And it says... Forever lies Seth. He's like, well, what the hell does that mean? Uh, because the other ones are like puns or funniness, you feel me? And this one was just forever lies Seth. It's a little bit creepy and it stands out to him. So he's like, okay, I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. So he walks and he walks through the lobby and then he finally gets to that part where uh, you transition lines uh, in the elevator where all the uh, pictures, you know, if you've ever been on it, where the pictures on the top part of the elevator stretch out to show a better, funnier picture, and then the lights blacken. You know, everything goes out. You're standing with a bunch of fucking sweaty-ass people that, you know, fucking smell like shit. And <laughs> <laughs> and, That's uh, disgusting, but yeah, it's true. And, um... You know, you're alone in the dark with them. You know, people are filling up on motherfuckers and shit. I felt this one chick's ass. You feel me? Just because I wanted to take advantage of that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Nigga, she was fine as fuck. And she turns around. I'm like, so anyway. is that the creepy part? Hell yes, the creepy part. Nah, it's just from, Probably from ugly my, with a bag over That's from my advantage. <laughs> it's from my point of view. But anyway, um, so. Oh, so after the lights blacking out, he looks above and he sees an orb. I don't know if you're seeing any right now, but whatever you're seeing on there is what he saw. It's a little fucking uh, white ball or ball of energy, and it was floating around in the sky or in the uh, in the uh, air above him. And then you know what's hella funny? What? 
I was catching hella of what looked like orbs. They might be dust, but right when you said that, they're all gone. I haven't seen one since. Oh, never mind. Now I just saw one. Anyways, continue. <laughs> That's um, weird. Yeah. Um, so, before the lights come back on, the orb vanishes. And he's like, damn, that's all weird. First it was forever white Seth, and then he sees the orb. Something fishy's going on. So he gets on the ride, you know, and he's going. But at the end, there's a part where when you're sitting down, between you and the person that you're riding with, you see you pass multiple uh, mirrors. And you end up seeing a ghost, you know. It's a, it's a hologram ghost. Which is supposed to be fun, you know, funny as an old dude, like a crackhead chick, you feel me? Yeah. So all kinds of funny stuff happening. But all of a sudden the bride, boop, stops. Complete stop. And he doesn't know why. But he looks forward and he sees a bloody body mangled up on the broken glass in front of him. And it was a child. He's like, what the hell, dude? I'm flipping, I'm flipping out. Everybody's just flipping out. They're like, evacuate the place. You know, somebody's going to stand outside and greet you goodbye. They shut down the whole park and everybody left. Before he left, he was like, I got to know what that kid's name was. So he went back, talked to one of the paramedics. And he's like, he as he's walking over there, he hears like kids laughing. And yet... There were supposedly no kids around. Apparently, like, the whole place was evacuated already. So he goes back to the paramedic, and he's like, Hey, uh, do you know have any information on what that kid was? You know, it kind of flipped me out. He's like, well, all we can tell you right now is that the kid's name was Seth. Mind fuck. <laughs> the kid died. The orb connected with him somehow. And... For some reason, there was a tombstone saying, Forever Lies Seth. Now, maybe Walt Disney could have been some creepy-ass motherfucker, killed that kid, and then somebody revealed it, and changed its tombstone around. Or, it could have just been a quink dink You never know. You never know. Hmm. Whatever. Well, yeah, that's pretty awesome because maybe it was the kid's spirit trying to make this guy know that it, he was there and that he was dead. Um, the only thing about Walt Disney, I don't know, because I think the ride was built two years after Walt Disney died. Unless the orb was him, I don't know. I think it was built in 68 and he died in 66. Um, Thanks for correcting yourself. Hmm? No. Yeah. Um, but, uh, blah, 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 blah. what was my point of this? Yeah. If Disney killed this kid, just like, um, kind of like the thing with Abandoned by Disney. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think Love this is like our our third and fourth Disney video combined. I think mystery. so. It's mystery. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so yeah. Uh, really good creepypasta. Really creepy creepypasta. Probably not real at all. Uh, I don't know why they'd have dead kids in the middle of a ride at Disneyland, but it has no. happened before, so. It has happened before. I don't know. It's, we watched this video... Where an attraction, instead of, like, you know how they have, like, Future World or Future Land? Yeah. You know, Forever Land or some shit like that. And, and Disneyland, they have the six, uh, six-staged revolving tower or whatever. And when the first ride in there was built, you just sit down and the fucking thing revolves. Well, it revolves this way. And some, some chick that announces what's going on, uh, stood there. And smashed her as the between the wall and the in the attraction, so it dragged her all the way around. That's nasty. And she was there for six hours before somebody noticed. Yeah. Um, We're gonna be talking about these in another video. Actually, we should do a video on that. All the deaths of Disneyland that we know of so far. But yeah. Anyways, point is that there's been people that died at Disneyland before. But um. For sure. So this could be real, but it could be fake. It's so coincidental that it really is a good creepy pasta, but it's most likely fake. Right. Um, but yeah, still awesome. And, uh, anyway, so since we brought up the, the thing of death and Walt Disney and 1966, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about, um, Walt Disney being cryogenically frozen. So basically, I mean, I myself, we don't know much about this. However, we want to talk about it because we were searching it up today and we watched a couple videos. And, um, so anyways, basically, um... 
Uh, yeah, sure. For sure. Just don't press the button. I know, I know, off. I know. Okay, so anyways. Basically, um, the rumor is, the rumor that's been spreading for a long time, um, is that Walt Disney was actually cryogenically frozen to preserve him for if in the future they have technology to bring people back to life, then they'd be able to bring Disney back to life. That would kind of be creepy but cool at the same time. Yeah, I would like to see Bambi movies in the year 2500. <laughs> No, I'd kill myself. Anyway, so, basically, um, people speculate that under Disneyland itself, there is a vault, a cryogenic vault, where Walt Disney wanted to be cryogenically frozen and preserved for many, many years. Now, he died on December 15, 1966. So, this has been 46 years, over 46 years, that he's been dead. And, um... I mean, I don't know if they had cryogenic technology back then, but um, even in, like, the case of Austin Powers, Austin came from 1968 or 67. No, it was 67. Um, I'm pretty sure they had that technology back then. I mean, it's not really hard to do. You just freeze someone, put them in a fucking metal locker or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could do that no matter what age you're in, as long as you know what dry ice is and it's cryogenic or however they do that. I actually think it's some kind of liquid. Dude, huh? I caught a... Big ass orb, like really? straight up. Yeah, like, not not big, but like small, uh -huh. and it came right out of your neck. Maybe it's fucking Walt Disney or something. So, anyways, um, basically, yeah, the rumor is that he's cryogenically frozen under Disneyland. Now, lots of people speculate that it could be true, and it could, but it most likely isn't. And we actually watched a video about this, and it said basically that Walt's death certificate, um, said that he was. Uh, cremated two days after he died on December 17th and he was buried in this memorial I forget where but it's basically a memorial where people could visit him anytime they wanted it's a big place and he didn't even have a small funeral now Disney originally didn't want a funeral however he did have a funeral so um, there is a lot of proof that goes that he was never cryogenically frozen besides he never mentioned that he he wanted to be anyways apparently and he didn't not he didn't they, people don't know if he actually knew what cryogenic freezing was back in the 60s not many people did it was kind of a government thing i think and you had to be like a millionaire or something to do it um still the case today but um point in case being that not many people are fry, uh they cryogenically frozen uh, a couple are there are celebrities that are um but in this case it's been basically proven that uh, Disney wasn't cryogenically frozen. But then again, think about this. Just like Area 51, it could be a whole cover-up. You never know. Um, Walt Disney sadly died uh, 11 years after the unveiling of Disneyland. Um, and he died by smoking. Um, I think it was lung cancer or something that killed him. It even says on his death certificate. I didn't know he smoked in the first place. Come on, Walt Disney of all people? Whew. Anyways, I, I mean, I never saw a fucking Aladdin smoking a blunt or something, but anyway, so... Hell yeah, he was smoking that cheever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's definitely a cool thing to uh, be curious about and wonder, because it could be totally real, and that all stuff could be a cover-up, or it could be just true that he isn't cryogenically frozen, and that he was cremated and stuff like that. Personally... I leave my mind open, but the proof, the proof does lead that he wasn't cryogenically frozen. So basically, you can just X that off your list of, like, to-do conspiracy theories, uh, um, stuff like that. But I'll still be looking out for stuff, and you never know. Uh, I'd like to think that he's cryogenically frozen, and he's somewhere submerged under Disneyland. Hell That'd be yeah. fucking awesome. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, Martin, how much time do we left on the video? Because I think we should probably get going. Shit, bro, it was like 14 minutes. Alright, well then, uh, anyways, thanks for watching this video. We're gonna end it now. Like, comment, and subscribe to become a TLP boss today. I'm Tony Saga, The Lavender Project. And I'm Big Papa Sexy from West Hayward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, you know, stay sexy, y'all. I love y'all niggas. Fuck you, Mr. Creepypasta. And I say that with the utmost respect. I love you, nigga. And I say fuck you to anybody I love, nigga. I love you. You said nigga. that word three times. You are officially a racist. I can't say it because I'm white. Actually, I can. All right, then, y'all. Peace. All right, bye. Stay sexy, nigga.